Welcome back, or welcome for the first time, whichever one is applicable to yourself. Uh, so today, I am finally going to do the booktube newbie tag. I kind of didn't want to do it, but I figured I should. You know, just because. I don't know what else to say about that. Anyways. Okay. So, I found out that, I don't know if there's multiple tags, I feel like there is, because sometimes the questions are a little bit different for multiple people, but, for multiple people. So, I found one that is originally made by Brenda C, and that's the one I'm going to go with, because that is the only set of questions that I can now find. Yeah. Okay. So, the first question is, why did you start this channel? Well, let's see. I started this channel because I felt, okay, well, first off, let me say it, I love booktube. I love talking about books, and I love reading books, but I've noticed there, there's kind of a little group of very heavy classical literature readers, and a very huge group of YA readers, and whereas, yes, I do like classical literature, and I do quite love YA literature. I mean, I do. I feel like, even, yeah, okay, so you have those, like, those two groups, and then you have some non-fiction spread, or, you know, spread somewhere in there, and then you have, like, some people who read textbooks every now and then. So, you do have representation of all these different genres, but it seems like comic books are not represented very well. And I feel like they should be represented a little bit better. Um, because they're awesome. And so, thus, I would turn my fan off, but it's really hot, and so my hair's... Uh, so, I feel like comic books should be represented a little bit more because they are very well written, very well drawn, they do have as much effort, if not more contributors, put to it than your traditional novels or traditional publications. And there's this whole community around comic books that isn't even talked about in the very YA genre that dominates booktube. So, yeah. So, I, like, I won't just talk about comic books. Obviously not, because I don't read just comic books, but I do want to be like, yo, comic books should have more people. Basically, in the world of booktube, I feel like comic books are the little guys that no one talks about. So, let's talk about comic books. Not just one readathon a year or just one free comic book day in May. Let's talk about comic books all year round. Please don't get mad at me. Okay, uh, number two. What are some fun and unique things that you can bring to Booktube? My winning personality. No, actually. Damn, I've been watching too much Friends. You know Chandler on Friends, everything sarcastic? My winning personality! No, uh, fun and unique things. Don't know yet. But when I find out, I will be sure as hell to tell you. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, number three. What is the, what are you most excited for about this channel? Basically, to talk about comic books. I, I'm no longer in high school, so I don't have my high school cronies to talk about. I'm no longer in college, which even my college cronies didn't really care about nerdy stuff, such as comic books. They're like, oh yeah, I've seen Doctor Who, but that's the, like the extent of their nerdism. Like, that was it. And I'm like, oh, so you don't care about like The Flash? And they're like... Who the fuck's the Flash? And I'm just like, 
whatever. You know, I'd be like, oh, what about Peter Parker? And like, who the fuck's Peter Parker? I'm like, Spider-Man. And they're like, wait, that's Spider-Man's real name? And I'm like, um, yeah, essentially. Basically, I, I go to work, I wear a uniform, and I have to conform every day to my work. And I don't get to be as nerdy and as excited about things as I want to be. So, like, when I requested the day off, um, at, the, you know, like, midnight when Harry Potter and the Cursed Child was released, I requested the day off so I could get it at midnight and then just binge read it the whole day, which I did, except my boss didn't understand why, and my coworkers made fun of me for weeks following that. Because I request a whole day off for a Harry Potter book. And I'm pretty excited to be around people who will not mock me for requesting a day off at work just to read the eighth Harry Potter book. Which I kind of consider it as the eighth Harry Potter book, but kind of don't consider it as the Harry Potter book, you know, it's... It's a mixture. Anyways, so that's what I'm definitely excited for. I'm definitely excited to, to, to try and get more people to appreciate the effort that goes into to comic books and appreciate nerd life, which I think is definitely becoming more mainstream and people are definitely cooler about it. Uh, besides the point. So, number four, why do I love reading? I love the act of telling stories. Does that make sense? I don't know what it is about it. So like I I don't just love the act of telling stories. Like I love hanging out with my friends and just telling them the most mundane story. But making it not so mundane. Uh, so yeah like I love the act of telling stories and I love the act of listening to stories. I love talking to people and hearing their experiences and I think books are just ways to hear other people's experiences so yeah anyways okay so I feel like I got very serious and I was just like anyways okay uh five what book or series got you into reading I think that's pretty self-explanatory I mentioned Harry Potter Harry Potter Harry Potter Harry Potter uh, I think everyone in my generation who loves to read pretty much loves Harry Potter yeah Like, Harry Potter got me into it, and when I got done with the Harry Potter series, it was like, what the fuck do I read next? And then so, Star Wars, or the Extended Universe, which is no longer canon. Oh, okay. So, uh, like, Harry Potter got me into it, and then the Extended Universe, which is no longer the Extended Universe because of Disney, kept me into reading. Uh, so, yeah, I've read, uh, hundreds of Star Wars Extended Universe novels. Timothy Zahn, uh, is definitely, uh, author I suggest, and Kevin J. Anderson are two of my favorite authors who've written Star Wars novels, and I do, okay. Anyways, so yeah, Harry Potter got me into it, Star Wars kept me into it, and then I just kinda, fuck, I just started reading everything. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? How are you all so energetic all the time? Or like just drink sugar water all the time? Is that how you bounce off walls all the time? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Because I kind of just want to go take a nap. Like, even now, I think I've put so much energy into this, which isn't really that much, that I just want to, like, go take a nap now. Yeah, I know. Okay, so. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Following through. I've always had a problem following through with things. And what I mean by follow through, I mean like, 
I would be like, I want to do this. And then like two weeks later, I want to do that. You can't see my hands, but I'm like, I want to do this. And then two weeks later, I'm like, I want to do that. That's probably my biggest problem is doing something and actually completing it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I hope that I will, well, by doing this, I will force myself to follow through. If that makes sense. I don't think, I don't know if that makes very much sense. I don't know. So, yeah. Because you, you don't really have a successful dialogue if you just, you know, post one video and then never post again. So, which I haven't done it actually. Like, this isn't really, like, the first video I've posted. That's, okay, I'm gonna just stop talking now. Um, I'm hoping maybe I will become a little less awkward, too. And that's a challenge I could... Maple, would you like to just finish off for me? That's my cat. Okay, I think I'm done now. Uh. Yeah. I don't know whether to... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to finish this like I've done every other video. Okay, so this is the part where everyone's like, Hey, follow me on things. And... I don't know. I'm just going to stop talking now. Awkward goodbye. No, 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 nope. Okay. You should see a picture of my cat. My cat's adorable. I'm I'm gonna throw up a picture of my cat. My screen keeps going wonky. I 